you give him a playful punch on the arm, and then a quick, less than playful kick in the shin, and then one final hateful knee in the groin. So long, Rufus, you dingus. How's it going guys? My name's Graham, and welcome to West of Loathing, the western spin-off of the old browser game Kingdom of Loathing that's been going strong for the last, what is it, 14 years? I used to come home from school and spend hours on that game. It's just a free online browser game. You just click around, you play a little RPG, loaded with jokes. Lots of fun, great way to spend an evening. I'm so excited to see that Asymmetric's branching out and making like full PC releases now. This game is available on Steam right now. I've been so excited for this the last little while, so I'm planning to kind of front load it a little bit. I'm going to make a lot of content on it really close together, and then it will kind of fold into the regular rotation of the channel. Wanted for protagonizing, Lou Hickok. That's a lot of meat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself a cool, like, cool name? Is that, how, would, how do you spell grimy? The grimy slinger. Give myself a nice cool western name rather than just being like a regular people name. I appear to be able to shoot all these ducks and it's making the reward go up? Because people really care about those ducks. And these signs. People get mad that I'm killing all their signs. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. I, I was the spaghetti mancer, the pasta mancer. Maybe pasta mancer makes more sense in Kingdom of Loathing, so I assume there's equally ridiculous classes. The cow puncher, the bean slinger, and the snake oiler. He looks like he's maybe some kind of like magician-y type class. Oh no, the bean slinger is a magician. He is, he's like a gun, a gun slinger, so that's probably what I ought to be, right? And then there's just like the straight brute force puncher. Wow, holy shit, he just punched the shit out of that cow. I think I better be the snake oiler then. That wouldn't be my first choice, but based on the name I gave myself, snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes. Their fearlessness extracts potent oils from those snakes and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Every, like that was some big event the day the cows came home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days. And also out west is where all the best snakes live. So if you want to be a snake oiler, you better be heading out west. I want to be a snake oiler. I collect meat for... meat is the currency in this game? I thought that was strange that the reward was meat. I guess that's literally the currency. I... the original game is just like a text-based browser game. Okay, I, I can I can walk around by clicking over with WASD. I'm, I'm not used to the fact that you can fully control your character and stuff. This isn't how Kingdom of Loathing is set up, so it might take a, a bit of an adjustment period. This weird poster appeared here one night. It's not even yours, it just showed up one day. You read the spine of one of your, one of your books, The Secret of Butcher's Cabin. I read that one ten times. Read another title, The Treasure of Butcher's Gulch. That's one of my favorites. The Occurrence at the Forbidden Ship. That's one of my favorites. That's enough reading of the titles. Let's comb our hair. You comb your hair one last time. You gain one XP. Progress towards next skill up. One out of five. Not so bad. If only, let me let me comb it again. See if I can get another quick little boost. I guess that's all. That's all I got. Goodbye, bed. Time to head west to chase my real dreams of oiling snakes. I just realized. How dirty that sounds. I realize that probably should have occurred to me sooner, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's an intentional innuendo. Goodbye, phonograph. You pull the needle away from the cylinder and stow the handle away. As in, did I take the handle? Your gear, your stuff. Uh, I doesn't look like doesn't look like I I took a handle. Let's turn the music back on then. Yeah. Have a quick chat with our crow. Hey, you're Russell, Russell Crow. How you doing? Caw! I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, caw, caw! Feed him a cricket. You grab a cricket from the cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Goodbye, Russell Crow. Be good. I have faith that one day you'll live up to your role in Gladiator. Until then, fare thee well. My living room. Nothing on the hat rack today. Sometimes you just unexpectedly get hat things. Stack firewood. There we go. 
organizing firewood for a bonus experience. This hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. You're gonna miss mom's cooking. Do I live at home? Jeez, it's definitely about time I I stop oiling my snake in my room and, and leave out to the west to oil snakes. It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. If only we had the combination. You'll miss meals with the family. Your little brother's room. It's covered with all of his weird diagrams and charts. What kind of shady stuff are you up to? Maybe he's just drawing a bunch of boobs. Probably. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. On the application to dynamics of a general mathematical method previously applied to optics. Just the title gives you a headache. What about his toys? What does he have in his toy box? He loves stuff like this. You got a puzzle cube. I wonder if Rubik's Cube is like a trademarked thing. Fiddle with it. Hey! Your brother already had it most of the way solved, but you figure out the last couple of moves. One more experience. Hooray! This is going incredibly well for us. It's so tidy. Just appreciative of a tidy room. The grimy slinger is. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's that book you wanted for Crimbo, which is the replacement for Christmas in Kingdom of Loathing, so I guess that carries over. I, I guess this isn't just like uh, an offshoot of the same style of Kingdom of Loathing. This must actually take place in like the land of Loathing. It's in the same world, so inside jokes like that are gonna carry carry on over. Unfortunately, I haven't played Kingdom of Loathing in quite a while, so hopefully I remember enough to catch these sort of references. I know it's early, but the one about picking locks, oh boy. The one about desert survival, oh boy. The one about bartering. How about picking locks? The grimy G likes to pick locks. That's the one. Enjoy. You got an item, locks, and how to pick them. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will. Goodbye, Mom. Can I give that a quick read now to up my skill? It gives you lockpicking expertise skill. This book is a comprehensive guide to advanced lockpicking techniques. It's got a whole chapter on tumblers. You quickly memorize the entire book. That was a cool little bit of western flair in the background. Nice. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Go orphans, go! Good for you guys. Glad to help out. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. Although I guess since I didn't take the Desert Survival book, I certainly hope that someone else does and donates it to the orphans or else they're not going to get very far once they escape. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. Yeah, I want the hat. I definitely want the hat, so I better make sure I rag on it. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. You received the hidden briefcase full of snakes. Thanks, Dad. Good, good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did already. Goodbye, Dad. That's enough of that. Ooh, dig through the haystack, and you found a needle. That, that was awfully good. You made good time on that. People always say it's such a difficult task, but it seems like it was, it was basically nothing. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? To help people seek my fortune? Get off this stupid farm? I like the farm, it's a nice farm. To seek my fortune? There's just no opportunity here, kid. If I'm gonna make something of myself, I gotta go where I can make some meat. <laughs> <laughs> the, it it kind of sounds like, you know, like the bring home the bacon or I, I'm the breadwinner of the family or whatever, like referring to money as actual food, but in this world it just is food. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think you're, you'll are you be dead before Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give him a playful punch on the arm, and then a quick, less than playful kick in the shin, and then one final hateful knee in the groin. So long, Rufus, you dingus. 
Let's see if there's anything to do on this side. No time to screw around in the woods. Time to head west. And yes, I guess that would actually be east, so onwards we go. Go west, young man. Yes. Yes, I shall. Hits in a ride across the Great Plains. I won't skip the opening credits. We gotta see how it's gonna go. Zach Johnson, you hero. Thank you for bringing this game to life. It's really exciting to see these goofy, simple stick figure designs, like, fully animated. Because Kingdom of Loathing, it's just, like, still pictures of, of all these characters and stuff. There's not, there's not a lot of detail or backgrounds or anything to go on. So, what the hell is happening to these, like, turnips in the cart that they're just kind of, like, raising up? Eat it. Eat it. He's not, he's not paying that much attention. You could, you could totally get away with eating one of those. Free food. Key grip. Isn't that, like, a... Yeah, that's. I, I thought it was something relating to a boom. So are these, like, fake credits? 200 miles later. Like, those are credits for, like, a movie, right? Those roles, they don't really apply to, like, a game development, so I don't really know what's up with that. Hey, he dropped one of his tournaments. We're gonna get one after all. Well, the bad news is that you fell off the cart and got knocked out for a couple hours, and now you've got no ride, no meat, no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town, rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. The town of Boring Springs. Well, let's talk to the local town drunk to get a little bit of our bearings. Dang it. Excuse, excuse me, mister. Turnip. Get the turnip. You got an item? The dusty turnip. And then maybe can we also pick up this, like, bowling ball or whatever it is? No luck there. Eek! Yow! I guess that's me running into the cactuses. 300 miles is too far to go on foot. You need a horse. Ah, uh, pointy. For some reason, I hadn't had the assumption that one of these cacti was going to have something that I could, like, benefit from, but I guess not. Oh, I guess that's, uh, some horse shit. Possibly from the BS horsery. They're just a, a bit of bull bullshit coming from the horsery. A sign on the door reads, Gone drinking." Well, what a lovely put-together town there is. Abandoning the bullshit horsery just to go have a few. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves to you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, dagnabbit? Well, I... Uh, you can't drink in here without a hat. It ain't proper. He points to the take-a-hat-leave-a-hat box next to the door. Check out the box. You look through the hat box and find a battered derby. That looks like something you'd wear. You got the floppy derby. I thought it was battered. Now it's floppy. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, uh, Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller. Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'll be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, uh, n no pressure. I, I don't, am I going to be putting together, like, a party in this game? Am I going to have, like, a team of... Of Westerners, I, I'm not sure if he's just uh, coming along for the ride just for shits and giggles, or if he's like gonna help in like battles or whatever. All right, I'll keep it in mind. Oh yes, his eyes are a little bit crazier than had been previously indicated. Okay, he's super extra crazy. He's just flailing around like a madman. Is there the opportunity to grab other hats? You already have a hat. What would you do with two? Well, I would wear them on different days, or wear one hat under another hat, and then. When people turn their back to me, I would switch hats just to fool them and see if they would realize that I'd, I'd switched it up on them. It's not for sewing, it's for picking locks. Hey! Well, I got a lock picking skill and I got a needle, so I'll pick all kinds of locks now. This is a briefcase you keep your favorite snakes in. Venom level 3, medicine level 3. There's a lot of snakes in this briefcase. Extract some venom, extract some medicine. I think I'll just leave that for now until I get a better sense of what to do with it. A turnip covered in grit. Increase your muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one for the rest of the day. Oh, it's not a permanent thing. I was hoping it would be a, a permanent thing, but let's look at these. Muscle determines how much damage your melee attacks do and how much damage you take when you're hit by melee attacks. Mysticality determines how much damage your magical attacks do and how much damage you take from magical attacks. Moxie determines how much damage your pistols do and how much you, you take from pistols. So I'm probably going to want to focus on upgrading my moxie, 
But I like I like that you get grit from eating the dirt off the turnip. It just hardens you up, makes you a nice tough westerner, some true grit as it were. Okay, guys, I'm super excited to finally be playing West of Loathing. I hope that this short intro has got you guys equally excited about the game. The jokes are kind of coming like a mile a minute here. Some of them are a little subtle though. You gotta really be on your toes playing this game, so hopefully, hopefully I can do it justice. Really looking forward to playing more. I'll be putting more up today and tomorrow just because I want to cover this as much as I can. I've been looking forward to it so much, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.